yet. And this is my picture. Um, so my like you know, in my animals and stuff was the cowrie tree, and then the tuatara. Um, and so with this picture, I want to show how they're connected through time. And so the main thing is because both of them, they were, um, they've been from very, very long time ago as obviously the Tuatara being been sometimes known as the oldest living dinosaur. Um, and so what I wanted to show was how also, because the carry tree is very, it's very old, it's one thing that it actually, like from being a seedling to being a big tall carry tree, it takes a very long time. So what I've shown here is, see this is a seedling of a carry tree which has then grown up into the big carrot tree. And in that time, the tuatara has gone from being a bit more of a, like, I mean, like the tuatara tree, but it's evolved from another kind of creature up to the tuatara that we now know and we see today. Is so that's the main, you know, stuff behind my picture. Um, and so, with the printing process, um, the new things that I've learned is about how to make woodcuts and stuff, which I've used here and here because they, I mean, they were probably my favourite part of actually making the things more than intaglios and stuff. Um, and so yeah, I've carved the wood and then used the printing press. Um, I've also, for this background, I used textured paper which I then stuck onto a piece of cardboard which I then put ink over and print on. So it uses the texture um, from this paper has then gone into my actual picture. Um, I've also um, learnt, I've, I've learnt quite a few different like printing processes which were extremely useful as this is a monoprint of the top of the background of, um, of the just the carry tree because I thought it would have a better texture. Um, what has been successful in mine was actually, I mean I found it very hard to be able to work out what the time, and you're having to show the time, but I thought using the seedling and then the big carry tree would just show how it has grown. Um, though, I mean, I also found it a lot hard to actually work out what I was doing because I'm someone who just kind of, I, I don't really know what I'm doing most of the time, I just roll with it. Um, but I think so managing the process, I was a bit more relaxed about it, um, which I found was useful because, you know, it meant that I wasn't always just going a bit crazy, though by the end it was very much that I'd come every lunch and just work on my printing. Um, now, using science and art together, I did find very useful because it meant that I used, I actually knew what I was, the stuff that I was working on. Instead of just being like a tuatara, and I guess that's, you know, an animal, it was more to, I actually knew about what a tuatara is, I actually knew about the cowrie tree, which was extremely useful for my, um, pictures. Um, yeah.